Okay, so there was somebody saying they're doing the same thing as what I'm doing. Um, I have basically got a wee old, uh, this is my boat. Um, it's freaking freezing, it's three degrees um, over in Northern Ireland here today, so she's a bit nippy. But anyway, uh, this is my wee boat, she's uh, Eleanor. She's called, um, I fitted the wee console. She's 3.8 meters long. Uh, fun boat or something it was originally so um, I fitted the centre console to her last year with the remotes um, the electrics and steering and got the wee fuel tank and all yeah, I know it's under there um, done all the wiring myself um, and all that so uh, got the seats relines and anyway so anyway so what we're doing now is we are fitting a remote start or a, a starter motor start an electric start to the or at a uh, you know just pull start engine so she is a mariner marathon uh 25 horsepower mm -hmm. she's 2005 so she is like new the engine served me well i've had it two years now goes goes like a dinger Go, goes well that means um so yes what we have here is the starter motor this is the wee starter motor. I'm lucky I've already had the brackets here, you know, under the flywheel for the starter. So um, I got the starter motor off um, Wish or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. I think it was about 195 quid. The genuine one, I think, was working out about 350. So sure, it is what it is. It'll see how long it lasts. Um, so now, anyway, yeah, we've got it mounted, just 213. Uh, or sorry, two thirteen headed uh, we hex M ten or whatever they are. So that's already on to our we bracket. Uh, what I've done these three wires, they're going to be they actually come out from underneath uh, the we starter or the sorry underneath the flywheel. So there's obviously charging coils in there, which is a bonus. So I'm going to do that after. I wasn't actually going to, but anyway, we've got a rectifier and stuff ordered up for that um so yeah so that's what these three wires are for so we'll just ignore them at the minute took him out of way um this is our kill cord switch anyway behind that we have got our little starting relay so we've got two pins here and then two pins here so on our starter motor we have our positive here so that is what we have at the minute um, I have bought to make <clears throat> the makeup cables myself comes I'm a bit OCD or try to be anyway um, as far as cabling goes because uh, yeah I enjoy a tidy project uh, we've got cable here I'll need to look it up again I think it's eight core or 8H eight or whatever the hell you call it um, cable uh, it just snips I bought this kit off Amazon uh, you get these huge big crimp wires with a kit and heat shrink and all that there I already had these wee butt connectors or whatever you like to call them um, from last year from doing that other project just makes it all look quite OE and then again a negative cable so what we're going to do is first of all make a cable um, I say I just have, have that mounted on two bolts that were already there. Well, I've got it mounted on one bolt that's already there. It will move about. So what I'm going to do is make a plate from this M8 uh, over. You know, and we'll do that after at some stage. Probably be seeing that next year. But anyway, uh, yes. So what we're going to do first of all is make a wire from here to here, and. Um, See how that goes with this wee crimping tool. So yep, we'll see how we get on. That's what we've got so far. Oh, I've also got a, uh, hold on, I'll get it. Uh, 
we've got a genuine Mercury uh, we starter switch. There was somebody on one of the Facebook groups gave me a wee link to it. Um, I came from America. Um, I was in Northern Ireland, but it got posted on Thursday and I got it Monday. Quicker than what you get post from bloody England. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that was, I don't know, like $35 or something. I'm sure you can get, of course, you can get cheaper on eBay, but sure, it's going to be cheap crap, isn't it? So, yeah, that's our wee waterproof switch. And that's just the battery I had from Lanham Work, just to test stuff, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've used, we're making up our first wire. So pretty good luck. Uh, it broke a wee bit there, but it's not gonna affect it. Uh, put a heat shrink over it. So, that's that on. And hopefully, we're gonna go from here to here and hopefully that's not going to be too much of a I don't think it will be too much of a strain on but uh, yeah so there we go we'll see how we get on I don't have anything to hold the camera plus uh, I don't know how to add it and fire to bite and fast forward stuff so the next thing you're just going to see it on sorry it's going to be the way it is just Okay, so uh, just a recap on everything that we've been talking about uh, up to now. Basically, we have got our starter motor, uh, which is already on the brackets. We have got a main feed, uh, sorry, the main wire coming from the starter motor body, from the starter motor itself, uh, not on the body, sorry. It's the, the starter motor uh, positive. Uh, we'll be going to one pin on our relay uh, the other p main pin on the relay is going to be going right up to our battery I have only set this up rough as a badger's arse just to make sure that it works I've still put fuses in this isn't even the battery off it it's cable tied lovely I'll last two minutes for the heat but uh, so yes so main wire from starter to relay then main wire from relay to your positive on your battery the the next one is on the relay is this pin is going to be earth well which is earth so earth anywhere on the the engine uh, the casing whatever as long as it's metal that's going to be earth this other pin here is the one that is going to be fed the positive which then activates the relay turn your starter motor Bob's your uncle that should start or turn anyway so this next wire we have here is going up to our switch which again rubber badges are I have just mocked so one side of the switch is going to be a, a fused power so we've got our positive going into our switch whenever I push the switch we've got a positive coming out of the switch along and activating this so negative terminal uh, anywhere on the 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 casing um well you know what i've done is i've run it all nice and neat to here and then it runs right onto the carb out of the way of any linkages and again at the minute it's only cable tied on with the feed all that properly so yes so let's try it out There we go. So I'm pushing this, it's in alive down to that red wire, which is then activating the relay, send the positive to the relay, sorry, send a positive to the relay, which then sends a positive to the starter motor, and we have our earth on our starter motor. So Bob's your uncle, funny your aunt. I have uh, obviously the kill cord, or uh, sorry, kill switch disconnected because we don't want our starting in the garage. Um, so yeah, all we have to do now is fuse it, bag it, tag it, 
Did it all nice and neat. And uh, that's it. Outboard starter motor wiring um, f for a uh, 25 horsepower two stroke Mariner Marathon. And that's it. The lid for there. So, yeah, nice we uh, under project in three degrees garage. So I'm going in for a cup of coffee, light the fire, put my feet up, and we'll continue some other day.